hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be comparing comparing what you ask well we're going to be comparing the Longchamp Le Pliage travel bag the large version versus the extra large version so without further ado let's get to it so I'm not going to go into detail about the bags both are the Le Pliage or original and if you do want to see details, I do have individual videos on both these bags I will be showing you today. So I'll leave the links in the description box, you can watch them there. I will start with the extra large version. As you can see, my extra large version is already filled and ready to go. And you'll see why just in a little bit. So this bag is sold on the Longchamp website. It does go for 170 USD. However, although this color, this exact color combo is no longer available, they do have a bunch of different other colors. They do have a beige that's very similar to this, so take a look. Or they do have different colors. They have orange, green, whatever you want. They also have black, if that's what you're looking for. As you will see, it does fit more, but it will also get heavier much more easily just because you're stuffing the bag with just more more clothes, more cases, more toiletry, more cosmetics. So it does get heavier fairly easily and much more quickly than the large version, which I don't have stuff at the moment. So because it is bigger, it is good for longer trips. You can go away for the five days with this bag. It does fit all you need. Now the large version is this one right here. If we compare it, I'm just gonna compare the lengths of it you can see that the extra large is fairly bigger now the large version let me just get the extra large out of the way <laughs> the large version is slightly less expensive just because it is smaller in size it does go for 145 usd and like i mentioned this color like for my extra large version i've had i've had these bags a couple of years now so these colors are no longer made there are a bunch of other colors available that are just as beautiful as these so take a look on their website and yes less will fit obviously but on the upside it is lighter even full it is lighter it weighs less than the extra large this bag because it is smaller i wouldn't take it away with me for four to five nights this is way too small for that i would go one to two nights away with this bag so we can get away with our fine longer than that I wouldn't really I wouldn't really take this bag I will grab my extra large for that so as you can see I did fill up my extra large just to show you guys what fits inside so what I will be doing I will be unpacking my extra large and putting everything from my extra large into my large just to see what fits and what will not fit I kind of do have an idea already but let's just see so just gonna unbutton my large version and my extra large as you can see although my extra large is full there is some space I'm gonna try to show you guys on here in the scent in the corners there's still some space there it's kind of flimsy and you there's way there's enough space to fit in I didn't pack this time I didn't pack any socks or undergarments but with the space that's left, you do have enough space to pack any undergarments, any socks you would, that you would need. So as you can see, there is some space still in the bag. So let's go. So whenever you go away, you can never leave without a laptop. So this is my laptop. It's the MacBook Pro 13 inch. So 13 inch laptop does fit in both. I also have my toiletry case, which is an essential every time you go away overnight. I have my glasses as well. I have my makeup case. Yes, I have two cases when I do leave overnight. Then I have some clothing. So I have a pair of leggings. I have a sweater. I would need to fit a PJ if I'm going overnight and that's what this is right here and as you can see I'm gonna show you it's starting to get full already let me just try to 
the laptop is not working out so well. Okay, so as you can see, there is a bit of space left, but it is rather full. I would put some socks, some undergarments in there. Let's try to fit one more sweater. I mean, I have a sweater, I have some leggings, a t-shirt maybe if it's warm to wear under my sweater. Uh, what else can we fit? I have two other sweaters just in case I get dirty or I change my mind. So I'm gonna close it just like this. Uh, actually, I have some more space. There's another sweater. <laughs> As you can see, I pack this. And let's just close it like so. There is still a little bit of space here, but I'm thinking I would normally just pack my socks and undergarments in this little spot right here in this little corner. So I will just pack, just so it's full, I will pack with a, a couple of other things I have in my bag. There, I put one more top to take the space of socks and the and undergarments and there you have it now it's pretty full I mean although you do have some space up here you need a little bit of give to be able to close the bag so this is the large version kind of full and ready to go now let's just see what's left in my bag in my extra large bag so in this extra large bag I have two three Four, four tops and one robe. It's kind of all wrinkled and not folded well right now, but this is the robe. So I have four tops and one robe left that really would not fit in the large version. So as you can see, the extra large is a lot more spacious. And that being said though, if I would only be able to get one Longchamp travel bag, I would probably go for the large version, although I am an overpacker. I would go for a large, the large version just because it's more versatile. You can kind of like, I can travel with this bag, yes, but if I want to use it as a gym bag, I can do that as well. Whereas my extra large version, if I use it, it kind of, it's kind of limited to using it as a travel bag. You can't really use it as a gym bag, it's just way too big. But you also do have to kind of think about what kind of packer you are. If you are a light packer, go for the large. You won't be disappointed. You'll have more than enough space. If you do tend or end up going for the extra large, you might be disappointed because, because it is so spacious and big. If it's not full, like, a, like it isn't right now, if it's not full, you do have a lot of extra space and the corners will be flimsy and the shape of the bag will just not be as nice or what it's supposed to be. If you are an overpacker like I am though, definitely go for the extra large version. You'll have more than enough space, you'll fill it. If you go for if you end up going for the large, you will fill it up very quickly and you might even have to take a second bag with you and that just defeats the purpose of having a travel one travel bag. So, if you're an overpacker, go for the extra large. That's my advice to you. So honestly, what it really comes down to is your personal preference, what you're planning on using the bag for, and what type of packer you are, light or heavy or overpacker. So those are what I would think about if I were you before purchasing the bag, but I do not regret purchasing them and I still use both of them a lot, a lot, a lot. They're very good bags to use. They're lightweight, so the, the weight you do feel when you do fill them up is basically just the contents. There's no extra weight. They're easy to take care of. You can pack them up and bring them with you on vacation. They take up no space at all and they're just very easy to carefree and easy to use. So before I let you guys go, I don't know if you know this, but I have my nails done today. And this video was made in partnership with Nail Addict. They will be changing their name and rebranding soon to Nail Reserve, so look out for them. I have all their information in the description box below. Basically, it's a company that makes gel polishes. So on their website, they do sell the UV lamps. They do sell the a bunch of different colors of gel, pol gel polishes. And what I do love about this company is because they are environmentally conscious. So all their nail products, all their gel polishes, are vegan 
there are no animal products contained in their polishes as well their products are not tested on animals and they are kind of they are healthy nail polishes basically they don't include in their their nail polish recipe i guess if you will nine harmful products so you can take a look they have more information about th themselves and how they are environmentally fit, conscious and just healthy on their website and i just want to show you the colors i did get the color i am wearing today is this one right here and it's called the pink panther so it is a pink but it's brown and plum at the same time it's like kind of a mauvey color mauvey color so it's kind of a mauvey color and i love it so much for summertime it's gonna look great in the fall as well i tried to go for colors this time that would be summer but yet fall i did go for this it's called cranberry juice but it's more of a brownish color which is gonna be great in the fall and summer too with cream outfits but I'm more of a brown polish person in the fall I have cashmere as well it's kind of like a gray which will look great for the summertime I do have a flashy red I kind of get more adventurous and apply bright colors on more in the summertime it's called electric red I haven't tried it yet but I can't wait to try it it looks great and my last is kind of always a safe bet, a light pink person. I'm a pink girl, so I do have tons of light pink polishes that are almost the same shade, but they're slightly different and I just can't get enough. It's always my safe bet. This one's called Secret Lover and I love it so much. It's great, it's natural, but it does have a little bit of color to it. It just matches everything. It's great in summertime, fall, spring, winter, whatever, you name it. But really in love, the products are great quality, they apply very well. I mean, at first, if it's your first time doing it, be patient. I, I was awful at it first. They became bumpy and thick and not nice. But with practice, they are. I did get a lot better. I mean, there's still improvements that can be made, but I did get a lot better. The trick is thin, thin, thin layers. There has to practically be no paint or no polish on the brush, and that's what makes it so smooth and shiny and just even everywhere so a huge thank you to nail addict for collaborating with me again i do have a discount code for you all it's donna 50 so d-o-n-n-a 50 five zero it's in the description box below be sure to use the link i supplied or not supplied but i added to the script to the description box to make all your purchases and the code is valid for a um, purchase of a minimum of two gel polishes so take a look they have a bunch of different colors if neutrals and reds and light pinks aren't your thing they do have a bunch of other colors they have yellows greens blues you name it they have shimmery non shimmery take a look there's something there for everyone if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave all your comments and questions in the description box below I'll be sure to answer them and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys